I, you, I don't think you'll find one of these in Europe. And if you do, it, it's, of course, you know, high dollar, you know. <laughs> What is that feeling that you get? That feeling that you get when it's, when you uh, think, well, okay. this is the guitar that I want to use. It's this control. It's control of uh, the highs and the lows and the mids, and uh, um, just the whole sound of the guitar, the sustain. You know how long you, you hit a note and how long you can hold it. You know. Um, because, I mean, when, when you plug it in, when it gets electric, it's just a complete different world. We've, we've tried to really stay away from the whole, like, pop scene, the top 40 scene, you know? I mean, uh, we were, like, on, uh, uh, like, 53 on the charts, and we were, like, going, oh, man, we're going to have a top 40 hit. You know, what is this going to do to us as a band? You know, we're going to have to really ignore this, you know? And because uh, you kind of lose this, like, your edge to your band, and we've really tried to keep that edge, that sincere edge to us, because it... It's good to be successful and make money, but it wasn't the point when we started to make money in the band, you know. It was to uh, express ourselves. We all had jobs, you know, during the day that we all liked, you know. We were doing this at night, and that's why when we got a uh, record deal, uh, we were very skeptical to sign it. I really don't like, uh, like glam metal. I mean, when people call us metal, I kind of go, I feel like taking a bath, because to me, metal is kind of embarrassing. And uh, uh, you mean the, the whole, you know, metal attitude and the, you know, all these guys dressing like pirates and, you know, and now those same, you know, pirates on uh, Hollywood Boulevard are wearing flannels to be metal grunge, you know, so I, I, I tried staying away from that. Um, I mean, I like the Seattle bands, I like them a lot, and, uh, but I like country music, and I like Led Zeppelin, and ACDC, and you know, all music like that, and uh, classical music. <laughs> What are your musical backgrounds? Did you study the guitar? Uh, no, I studied violin, and uh, I played up to a uh, freshman in high school, and uh, then I played stand-up bass for three years. And um, I, I, I gave it up, but during all that time, I played guitar at home, and uh, my older brother like played electric guitar, and he was into like, you know, like Chicago and the police. And I think that's when I really, st you know, like stood up and started going, oh wow, the electric guitar is cool because I played like just a acoustic guitar. You know. well, what made you looking for a Gibson, by the way? I don't know, just there's, there's a qu quality guitar made, you know, and I think uh, so many guitars are just pumped out, you know, and they say, well, it's, it's the guitarist, it's not the guitar. Bullshit. It's the guitar. You feel how heavy it is? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's beef, you know, it's, it's one piece of wood, it's just really thick. I couldn't hold that well for one hour, I think. Yeah, it gets, it gets, you know. Does it get tiresome? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you see Jimmy Page, he like, 
I guess he's permanently, like, tweaked now from having, you know, one of these around his neck all the time. It's a nice thing to look at, but it's better to play it, isn't it? Well, that, that, that you know, that's the way you see it, because you like guitar music and you probably like to play, you know, and that's the way I see it. But someone who likes the, the look of it and it's like those people who buy old cars and they don't drive them. They just put them in their garage. They bring them out once in a while, you know, and show their neighbors or take them to a car show kind of thing. Fans always come up and want to talk guitars with me, want to yeah. talk Gibson guitars with me, and I always get sick of it. And the thing uh, uh, Chris Haskett from the Rollins Band told, taught me how to discourage that. When someone comes up to me and says, because uh, uh, he always the first question they ask is, what year's your guitar? And he taught me to say, it's a 94. And they go, oh, just walk away. Yeah. 